good evening coming to you from Cape Town, South Africa, and we're in the city of Cape Town, uh, Virginia, Victoria, Alfred Waterfront, and we're at the Hotel The Silo. Used to be an old shipping silo. Coming to you with our first impression, I'm Wesley. My lovely wife, Danielle, is holding the camera. This <laughs> what is your first impression of Cape Town? Hmm. First impression of Cape Town, it's a beautiful city. Yeah. Lots of lights, very clean, very clean city. Um, we haven't gone to many cities in, in Africa, but you know, of the four that we've visited so far, Cape Town is extremely clean. Um, I think you know, it's driven by a lot of tourism here, so you know they're catering for that for that crowd. So, what has been your experience with navigating the general area? Well, where are we staying, where it's a popular area, so everything is right there. It's not hard. Um, Uber, Uber can get you five dollars or less, you know, to many spots. Um, very walkable area, as as Danielle was whispering. In <laughs> Good. Very walkable. So, um, what has been your favorite your favorite meal? Favorite meal? Oh man. So, um, our second time back in South Africa, and we're yet to be disappointed. Every meal that we've had has been consistently good. So I, I can't even say a favorite. They all been good. We, I do like the, the king clip fish. Yeah, I know. think so far that's probably been my favorite meal since we've been here. King clip fish. Yeah, the king clip um, fish, uh, the entree that was served at Nobu. Yeah, that's that was by far the best. And it doesn't matter how they serve it. Pan, yeah, pan seared, grilled deep fried it's okay. consist consistently good. I agree with you so in terms of cost how affordable has it been has it been well I mean affordability is, is relative is relative you know and, and based on the individual but I you know from we've done a lot of research on the hotels and the tours and you know there's there's a range if you want a five star hotel you know you want a medium rated and a budget hotel you know they're all in the same vicinity and very affordable I would say from 100 to 1,000 dollars you have a choice of it okay so tell us one thing that you learned that you didn't know before about Cape Town one thing that I've learned is always so, so many but um, one thing that did stick out to me was the and I'll go I learned this from our tour guide that took us on the tour of the peninsula John and he was saying uh, that there has been uh, let's see how I put this gently but within the white class here you know, the English and the African Right, the white Africans and the white English, you know, they've, they've had this consistent um, clash. Clash, I would say. My wife, well, my wife says clash. Danielle says clash, but um, just, just there's no uh, synergy in the, in the communication and cooperation between the two, and it, it all. According to him, it, it's ongoing, and I did not realize that. I thought they, you know, I thought. That is that is something new. That's something that we both learned. I thought that was, um, you know, they stuck together. I thought they moved as, as as one, but apparently that's not the case. So, what has your experience been with the people of South Af of of Cape Town? Of Cape Town, great experience. I mm -hmm. can't I can't say that we've had any any bad runnings at all. Um, um, welcoming, you know. very hospitable. Yeah. No matter kind, where it went, no kind. friendly. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. did, did you experience like any? Um, how can I describe it? Um, I guess exuberance from you know Black South Africans when they encountered you. Exuberance, I think. They, they, 
they're pretty vocal, pretty exciting, you know, yeah. most of them. Just uh, very excited to see yeah, yeah, yeah. their fellow they're brothers really and sister. Yeah. yeah. We've encountered that, you know, several yeah, times. Yeah, communication is always very welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, one historical fact that you learned, you might have already touched on this with your previous answer, but is there any... We just answered that. So. I know, that's what I just said. <laughs> okay, what has been your best highlight so far? Best highlight? Mm -hmm. I must say I'm pleasantly surprised. I am. You know, regardless of how open-minded you, we, we, we try to be, I'm pleasantly surprised of the, the development here. I think I've said that about Johannesburg, Johannesburg and, Durban. and Durban and now in Cape Town it's the same thing yeah and interestingly enough we, we met a young lady um, who is from KwaZulu Natal mm -hmm. and she was visiting a friend here in, in Cape Town and we had the opportunity to sit down and have what I would call social conversation <laughs> yeah, a lot of conversations with her just to kind of get more context you know, um, on on the country, the city, and you know where she's from. And one thing that that she indicated was that while she had never been to America um, before, she said that Cape, Cape Town, Town mm -hmm. is their America. Their America. I agree. I mean, I'm I'm seeing architecture, designs, constructions that are that I've never seen before. For example, this hotel. This hotel is amazing. Some unique pieces, touches, quality stuff. And I'll say for myself that my best highlight so far, <laughs> probably it's it's always the people. Just you know, having intimate conversations with the people. So, last question: Would you visit again? Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> and hopefully I can come with some more friends. You know, like even though we enjoy, we always enjoy traveling like this. You know, I. I you know, we yearn to share this with a lot like more people, you know, so they can, you know, see what what Africa has to offer, yeah. you know, especially South Africa. And one one so one we definitely will will be coming back, Allah willing. Yeah. Another another question. Anything vastly different from this travel? Um, from when we travel to Johannesburg, and vastly different. No, it's just it just keeps getting better. I think you know, just to see that the the consistency, you know, remains there. The food is consistently good. The people are consistently welcoming. You know, the areas are getting cleaner, and better. You know, yeah. so I agree with that. I also have yeah. an additional perspective. We're not traveling with our babies this time, so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> we get up. <laughs> no, it's an adult experience. Right, right, right.